Well, it's that time again. Time to get back to working on the rails. Next stop, X-Axis Town. Chugga 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 choo choo. Welcome back as we continue along on our journey to Linear Railton, where we are installing the X, Y, and Z Linear Rail Kits from TBS Tron 3D and our Neptune 4 Plus and Max printers. This is part two of our voyage. Previously, we cleaned and lubricated the linear rails included in the kits. If you're following along and haven't already cleaned and lubricated your linear rails, I suggest you watch the first video in this four part series. However, if your linear rails are already prepared, let's waste no time getting ready to the good stuff, modding our printers. The X-axis linear rail kit includes an MGN 9H linear rail with a single carriage. It's 400 millimeters long for the plus and 500 millimeters long for the max. There's also a large bracket for mounting the linear rail to the X gantry and a smaller bracket for mounting the tool head to the linear rail. Four bags of hardware are also included. 13 M3 by six millimeter socket head screws for mounting the linear rail four M3 by five millimeter socket head screws for mounting the small bracket, two M5 by six millimeter button head screws for mounting the tool head, and finally, four M4 by 40 millimeter button head screws to replace the existing auxiliary fan screws. TBS Tron 3D frequently includes extra hardware, so don't be worried if you have any extra bits left over after installing the rail kit. While installing the rail kit, a few tools will be required, including an 8mm socket, a utility knife, a pair of small pliers, and also 2mm, 2.5mm, and 3mm hex wrenches. Step 1. Ensure the X-axis gantry is at least 60mm high to prevent the tool head from scraping the print surface during reassembly. Step 2. Remove any filament from the tool head before the printer is turned off. Step three, turn off the printer. Step four, disconnect the power for safety. Step five, disconnect the tool head cable. Step six, disconnect the auxiliary fan cable. Step seven, move the main cable out of the way. Step eight, remove the four screws holding the auxiliary fan in place using a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Step nine, loosen the X-axis belt. Step 10, disconnect the X-axis belt using a small pair of pliers. A utility knife might help if the belt is stuck in the extrusions V-slot. Step 11, remove the tool head using a three millimeter hex wrench and an eight millimeter socket. Only the top two palm wheels should be removed. Step 12, remove the palm wheel hardware using two millimeter and three millimeter hex wrenches plus an eight millimeter socket. Since the heads of the palm wheel screws are normally not accessible, the tool head will need to be partially taken apart and then put back together again. Step 13, install the large bracket using a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Start by removing the two exposed black button head screws on the back of the X-axis gantry. Then position the bracket. Finally, reinstall the screws.
Step 14. Install the linear rail using 13 M3 by 6 mm socket head screws and a 2.5 mm hex wrench. Loosely install one screw on each end of the linear rail before installing the rest of the screws. While all screws are still loose, pull the linear rail towards the back of the printer to make sure it is properly aligned before tightening all of the screws. Step 15. Install the small bracket using four M4 by 5 mm socket head screws and a 2.5 mm hex wrench. Step 16. Reattach the tool head using two M5 by 6 mm button head screws and a 3 mm hex wrench. Step 17. Reattach the x-axis belt. A small pair of pliers might be helpful. Step 18. Retighten the x-axis belt. Step 19. Reattach the auxiliary fan using four M4 by 40 millimeter button head screws and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Step 20. Return the main cable. Step 21. Reconnect the auxiliary fan cable. Step 22. Reconnect the tool head cable, making sure the clips lock in place. Step 23, reconnect power. Well, there you have it. We successfully installed the TBS Tron 3D X axis linear rail kit in our Neptune 4 Plus and Max printers. If you've encountered any problems or have any questions, please let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to help you out. Don't forget to join us again for the third leg of our journey where we will install the Y axis linear rail kit. Before you go, if you haven't already, Please subscribe and like this video so you can be the first to learn about our future videos, printer modifications, and enhancements to Bed Leveler 5000. Thanks for watching.